okay? That, you know what, we don't have to go. The Lord is bringing them to us, okay? The Lord is bringing them to us. And um, now I, I believe that we as the church, you know, we've been praying for unity in the church and in the body of Christ. And I really believe that um, this is a great opportunity for a miracle. It's a great opportunity for the body of Christ to, to come together. If one church is not able to house them, then maybe they can tap on another uh, pastor to turn around and um, send some people over there. I think that this is a real setup for the body of Christ and that we can work together and um, we could just really have a great revival um, in, in the Lord. And, and the Lord, what the enemy meant for bad, the Lord will turn around for good to those who love him. And um, and if we're concerned about the, the how are we going to eat or what are we going to do, you know, while I had the prayer earlier, um, uh, my friend Lillian, our sister in the Lord, she turned around and she had shared that, you know what? Jesus took the fishes and the loaves and he fed the 5,000. So if Jesus can take the fishes and the loaves and feed the 5,000 and there's only a couple of fish, a couple of loaves, praise God. Then you know what? When we do have this influx of people coming in. And like I shared with her, and if some of our stores are just kind of, you know, the bread's running out a little bit or whatever, but you know what? We could turn around and let's believe the Lord to bring the increase. I mean, we're the body of Christ, right? This is a good setup for a time for miracles. We, we, we've been praying and we want to see the manifestations of the Lord and um, the provisions of God. And I believe if we open up our houses, and I really don't believe, I think I saw last night on the news somewhere where, um, and please forgive me that the, the thing cut out, I guess it only allows you so many minutes, I don't know, but um, so I had to hop back on, but you know, love you, thanks for viewing, and um, said that they're actually sending some people to a sanctuary church, you know, and I'm like, well, then you know what, they can't, or they shouldn't shut down the churches then if they're going to be sending these people that need a place to go to the sanctuaries so praise god you know praise the lord the lord is bringing the increase we, we've been praying for revival we've been praying for increase let the lord bring them to us again we don't have to go there necessarily and i'm not i mean we are missionaries but he's bringing them to us let's believe god if, if we're concerned about jobs the Lord said he'd give us creative, witty inventions, and so be it, so be it, you know, and this is part two, I guess, continued, okay, and then um, also the Israelites, when they were uh, in, in the wilderness, the Lord fed them manna, manna from heaven, you know, so um, I think it's a real time of miracles, and again, if we keep this in our heart, and whatever the enemy means for bad, the Lord is going to change it for good. Just like our brother Joseph said in Genesis 15, uh, 50, chapter 50, verse 20, he said, you know, what you meant for bad, the Lord has made it for good that it would save much people alive. So let's not allow the enemy to cause confusion, distraction. We, 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 we understand what's going on very clear. If it's not one thing, it's quickly another before the first thing is even over with. And then before the second thing is even over with, all of a sudden there's another distraction that comes out and, and, and it's such a ploy of the enemy. And we need to be as wise as serpents, but as harmless as doves. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Praise the Lord. And his ways are higher than ours. His thoughts are, are higher than ours. And, and like I said earlier at the, the initial video, <clears throat> I didn't even think about this. I mean, I was just too busy binding, loosing, all this other good stuff and everything. But you know what? Not realizing, um, you know, we got to pray. Pray for those babies that they're safe travel from wherever they are that they don't get raped, that, that they don't get killed. And 
terrible, terrible, terrible. We bind the wickedness in Jesus' name. And, and, and we pray that the angel of the Lord would encamp round about them, these precious people. Some of them may already be saved, and there are brothers and sisters in the Lord. You know, we, we have a place. We have a place for them. This is just an, an opportunity for us. And I say, you know what, in the Lord sees every opportunity. And, and another thing, just, I don't know how long this thing is going to last, but anyway, there, there's one other thing that I think the church, the body of Christ, we, we, we've left a long time, Psalm 133. Okay. The Lord desires unity, a oneness in the body. Now look at this. So many times we've heard, you know, jokes from the pulpit where how many people are you running? Oh, I got, I got 150 and oh, I got 450. And you know what? The Lord is going to bring such an increase. I think they're going to want to give people away because we, we, we just can't house them all. So the Lord is going to bring to overflow. So if I can encourage the body of Christ, hallelujah, to just be seated and to be firmly planted in the heart of God and prepare for the influx of these people. Praise God. What a revival. You know what? If the church don't get out, he's going to turn around and bring them to us. And he's like, well, here they are. Now do something with them. Praise the Lord. We could pray for their healing in Jesus' name. We've been waiting for an opportunity. We've been praying for miracles and manifestations. Lord, use me. Well, he's going to. He is so going to. Hallelujah. I am so excited. I'm so excited. And, and, and bind the fear. Guard your heart. Do not be distracted by uh, the, the ploys of the enemy. Hallelujah. The Lord isn't mocked. He is so not mocked and he hasn't fallen off his throne yet either. He, he knows full well what's going on. And remember, like I said to the sister earlier, you know what? The foolishness of God, the foolishness of our Lord is wiser than the wisdom of men. They're not pulling anything over on our Lord. Nope, no way. So um, I just wanted to share that again. I'm really sorry. I'll try to um, figure out how to do the live face things and how many minutes it is and you know, I just wanted to encourage you and just share with you that we need to pray for these people, that the Lord would would um, bring them where they need to be. And again, I understand that, that if they have COVID and, and they don't have IDs and voter IDs and you know what, I, I think, you know, and the Lord just reminded me, you know, that our deliverance is not in the flesh. It's not in the arm of man. And you know, I, I love President Trump. Sure I do. But I'm sure there's some little things. I mean, you know, right? To ear is human. I think man is man. You know, flesh is flesh. You know, however, the Lord says, you know, that we, our confidence should not be in flesh, but in the Lord, you know. So um, I say, church, arise, prepare, prepare. Hallelujah. Pray for the protection of these families. The word of the Lord says, you know, to, to defend and take care of the father that lists the, the widows. Praise the Lord. Praise the, I, I, you know, I'm just, uh, I just wanted to share with you guys what the Lord had, um, you know, shared with me. And it, it did kind of blow me away because I was so busy, like I said, binding and saying we need to build a wall. And what are they doing? My focus was wrong. My focus was wrong, totally. So, um, but I am so encouraged, and the Lord's so good. He's bringing them to us. He is bringing these people to us. So I pray, I pray for you and your family, and, and that the Lord would enlarge your dwelling place, and that He would keep you as the apple of His eye, and um, that He would bless you and yours in every good work. In the name of Jesus, and, and and sleep good. Love you again, and 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 forgive me for, I don't know how to work this life thing, but you know what? I, I I'll get it. I'll get it. So thank you so much, and um. Night and, and be blessed. Love you in Jesus' name, Amen.